up everybody welcome back to the channel good to see your faces i know some of you miss my face right i mean it's been a while you know where i sit down in front of the camera and do a tutorial or talk to you guys or give an advice i mean i've been doing so many real estate travel and tourism kind of videos which is something i'm really excited about but you know recently i got these questions from you know some of you from my twitter and instagram account and once again thank you for reaching out to me and following me on instagram and on twitter i really do appreciate it i mean that is the one platform that we could even go deeper with and connect better right so i would really usually get you know questions from you know you guys and i the, those, those questions would be like you know is it a good thing right now for me to buy a drone i mean in, we know the market is a little bit saturated is it still good that I, is it still right that i buy a drone and you know what kind of drone can i buy is it even a sustainable business and i'm just gonna say to you i make at least three hundred thousand naira. i'm not like trying to over exaggerate but an average of 300k just flying the drone i'm not able to keep track of that amount because i actually have a full-time you know career as a videographer but just flying a drone at that amount so i could tell you it's a good idea but there are just some things that you need to know and i'm going to tell you exactly how i make in this video so i think you should stay tuned and if you're just somebody who is considering buying a drone or who have a drone and you really want to diversify your income then i think you really should watch this video to the end hey guys my name is steven for some of you who don't know me i'm a filmmaker based here in lagos nigeria and i am excited about filmmaking travel and tourism so if it's your first time here on the channel do not forget to subscribe and push that bell icon so you don't miss anything out of the channel and feel free to go back and you know look at the videos we've posted before all right so let's just dive into the video of the day first way is i make myself available for hire you just have to identify the industry that would require this and i'll tell you for me i would say the real estate is the first industry and real estate is where i make around you know 60 percent of my income with the drone because i've actually developed relationships with you know developers and real estate agents and they will usually call me to you know fly drones for them and shoot videos with the drone and all but another industry that would require you know area photography and videography is the wedding the music videos and all of that all right so if you just want to buy a drone or you have bought a drone but you're figuring out how to make money i'll tell you reach out to real estate people that's the first industry that gives me a lot of money and i could charge um 50 000 per day which is at around 150 dollars as of now i can charge that per day just flying if you're going to hire me for seven days i can discount probably a day for you but you know that's around that rate all right so if you're going to be booked for almost a month just flying real estate you know how much you're going to make out of that if i'm going to be the one to edit that footage i'm not even going to charge higher so you, you're beginning to see how profitable this thing can become all right so the second way i would say you make money is being a content curator now i know you're going to ask me how steven is it youtube accent now i'm going to tell you YouTube, youtube accent is actually one of it all right so i'll usually take my drone out go out to the streets take aerial footage of really beautiful places create a story and boom i have a video and most of those videos actually do go viral on youtube you know i have a video that is around 830,000 views that video has made me at around 600 700 dollars or so now that is just one income stream out of what i can make as a content curator the other one can come from affiliates now because i actually do talk about this drone i'm going to put a link in the description when you click that link i actually get paid out of it and then if you make those kind of videos and they go really viral you're going to have people would reach out to you and say they want to you know they want to buy the footage you know they want to get exclusivity for that footage which drives me to number three source of income which is licensing your footage now i'm not going to advise you to go to shutterstock and license your footage i mean you're not going to make too much money doing that and you're going to stand a chance of people you know stealing your footage and all of that what i'm going to say is you sell it yourself if you don't want to create your own website and sell those footage yourself then use your social media you can 
post a compressed version on instagram really nice add your music edit it to be really lovely and also let people know in the comment section in the description that that footage is available for sale and you're willing to even go take other locations if the client needs so that could also be an income stream for you and i can tell you i made a video um we all know that video it's called lagos in 4k where i just took drone pictures of some really fancy place turned it into a short video and put it out that video made me a lot of money i made money from my i made money from accents and i also made money selling that footage so are you beginning to see how really profitable this thing would become number four income stream would be to create digital course i mean this is something a friend of mine was actually selling me out so i was telling me how much he or she has made just te teaching people how to shoot with their drones and it's something that i'm about to do all right so you're doing two things you are actually helping educate people and most of these people will not want to go to film school to learn how to fly these things but you already know that knowledge and i believe that you do so go ahead and teach them you teach them and then you're making money out of it so if you're selling a course for around 100 dollars which is usually that standard and you have about 200 students or 100 students you you're beginning to see that you're you're going to start making a whole lot of money out of it so that is that for how i actually do make money if i average everything sometimes even go beyond 300. now before you actually think about investing in one of these toys right here what i'm going to see you do is you figure out which drone is going to be the right drone for you and i'm going to help you with some points and some things to you know put into cognizance that would help determine which drone is the right drone well first of all is the specifications that people often would require and i will tell you as of now people would require for 2k 60 frames per second people would require for 4k 60 frames per second now because people would ask me a lot for 2.7k at 60 frames both the mavic 2 pro and the mavic 2 zoom actually does you know 2.7k at 60 frames now the only difference between them is the fact that one has a zoom and one has a normal camera but one camera is better than the other one if you have people constantly ask you for 4k 60 then you might want to go for the phantom for the phantom 4 pro or for the evil 2 you know those are a little bit more expensive but the reason why i do not like the phantom which is point number two is compatibility now because i travel a lot this is easier to fit into my bag unlike the phantom that has a whole you know it's going to consume space all right but you know if it's something that your client wants or something people would ask you for then you should also go for it and something you should also consider too is cost which is how much you are willing to spend on this um how much you're spending willing to spend on this item all right and that's just basically it so once you have those three or four things sorted out then you are on your way to buying the right drone all right the second thing that i'm going to talk about is getting a license now i currently live in lagos nigeria and even though we actually have a license that we need to pay for because it is so expensive at about five hundred thousand naira most people are not going to pay that amount for a drone that costs almost the same amount and also i have never had any drone pilot that has gotten caught flying a drone without a license right here in nigeria now i don't know where you are actually watching this video from but i'm just saying from where i currently live at the moment but i know if you live in the united states you need to get your faa part 107 if not you might get harassed or you might get your drone seized i'm really gonna advise you, you build a personal brand around yourself and you know focus on one industry focus on one industry create your youtube account start making those contents and you're going to start seeing how investments in these things are going to start paying off for you all right so i hope this video was really valuable and if you need help of any sort or you need some advice constructing your message that you're going to send out to your to the you know realtors or developers or you have any questions generally just feel free to ask it in the comment section and i promise you i am going to be detailed about my reply and make sure that you message me a monster man says even thank you so much for that video and made three thousand dollars out of it all right so um do not forget to subscribe to this video share this video if you feel it was valuable and my name is steven i'm passionate about real estate travel and tourism you can go back and look at the other videos i have done here on the channel and i believe you are going to love it all right subscribe to the channel for more videos for more awesome videos all right and um, that's it for this video all right
until next time guys i'll see you soon peace out